Jim Holly, Supercross Live on SupercrossOnline.com here at Toronto at the podium, brought to you by Amzoy. Well, Ryan Villapoto, back to back. You won it here last year in Toronto. You win again, four in a row for you. Most importantly, uh, you know, at one point you gained three more points. Uh, you got a 12 point lead, but I got to ask you, this race here tonight, uh, mentally, I, I thought you, uh, you you were focused. You know, you didn't get rattled. You go out there, you collect the $1,500 from Nuclear Cowboys for that whole shot, and all of a sudden you see the two two motorsports ahead of you, and you see Davey Millsaps. Yeah, I mean, I mean Davey's riding really well this year and, and tonight. So, um, you know, I was able to get the whole shot, but then it kind of put me on the outside, and, and those guys were a little sweep, sweep around. Um, around me a little bit and carry some more speed and they were able to get me down the straightaway so um, you know I was just sitting back waiting and then uh, trying to get around those guys and was able to get around Chad but then um, obviously Davey was riding a great race and and uh, you know just had to be patient and just try to pressure him Ryan was was close but uh, you know once I was able to get around Davey I was able to pull a little bit of a gap and and then maintain it. Let me ask you this, this corner right here ahead of us, I mean, a couple times you ran it in on him. I mean, you were right to the inside. You didn't touch him, but you let him know that, hey, I'm here. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, with flat turns like that, it makes it really tough. Everybody goes dives to the inside, and there was concrete showing. So, um, and other than that main rut, there was nothing else. So, uh, you get, you have to take it, because going on where it's flat is, is slow. So, um, we were pushing. We were pushing the limit, and... and uh, and, uh, you know, I just can't give it up to those guys that were, were raising the bar. Tough track tonight here and in, the, in the sand, especially I saw you a couple times. Davey had that inside line. You were trying to make that outside line work. But then once you got into lead, you went back to that inside. Uh, yeah, you know, I think uh, the, the sand was really good. I was making up some time entering the turn, but then losing it coming out. So once I was able to get around Davey, I, I went inside and was able to protect the inside. And, and also, I think I was a little bit quicker. Um, so. Uh, everything was good, you know. I, I can't thank everybody enough. At one point in the race, like when you're coming up with Davey, uh, are you thinking about the points because it could be, hey, I could be leaving Toronto with a 12-point lead, or I could be leaving with a six-point lead. I mean, that's a, a six-point uh, six spread right there. Oh, for sure. Obviously, um, you know, the, the right now the two main guys in points were Davey and Ryan, and and uh, Ryan's. Uh, you know, a tough competitor, and, and Davey's riding really well this year. So, um, you know, really there was there was one thing, and that, that was to win. Um, and, uh, you know, if I wouldn't have, yeah, it would, it would have been a different story going into this break. You, you mentioned that break. What are you going to do during that break? I mean, you got a, a four-race uh, win streak going. you got seven on the season now. What do you do uh, Easter weekend? Uh, just, you know, try to uh, get away from, from Supercross and, and, you know, motocross and, and obviously keep riding, never never stop riding and training, but try to, uh, you know, get away from it and, and uh, just try to, uh, you know, have a good time and, and just, just kind of mellow out and chill. So um, that's what we'll do, and then we'll, we'll be back at Houston. Um, you know, I like racing there, so uh, we'll just try to see what we can do and, and see if we can keep it going. Yeah, baby! So we just want to see the camaraderie down there at the podium. All of us here at FIM, AMA.